Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video tutorial I will be showing you how to convert a regular printer using this ink into a sublimation printer and it's really really easy and it's super fun and this ink works on multiple items so this is what I'm going to show you in the video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do and if you like this video give it a thumbs up all right let's begin so here are the things that you will need So here's my printer and I got my sublimation paper. So one side is white, it's kind of like matte and feels not like regular paper. And then the other side has this ASAP logo on the back. So the paper on this printer goes in the back on top. You're gonna get your paper and place it right over here. And this white, facing this way because when it will print it will print like this and it needs to print on top i am using this i'm not sure how to pronounce it hipu i found them on amazon and this is sublimation ink and it's meant for these types of printers so it comes with the ink and these little syringes so you could put the ink in here um, when you get your new printer it will come when you get your printer it will come with this kind of ink this is for this is regular ink to print on uh, so put it aside don't fill this up because you're not going to be using this ink and this is how we convert a regular printer ink to sublimation printer. Okay, so over here, button on the side, we're gonna lift this part up. And then lift this. So, very easy. We're gonna get this ink into the syringes and put them in there, and we could see on top how much it'll fill up. And to get this ink, I have a link in the description below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the blue one first. Okay, so touch in the bottle and then using a syringe, it makes everything come out faster. It won't split out that way. These are because I flipped it over. Okay, now I'm going to place this in here. So it's almost full, so five of these, and then, okay, next one I'm gonna do the magenta. Kinda go slow because in my last one, when I was doing the blue one, I kinda went fast and the bubbles went over that. Okay, and this is how I clean it. I'm just going to take it apart. I 
and you just wash it off under the sink after it soaks for like literally 30 seconds and it's all dry there's no ink whatsoever let it air dry and that's it it's really easy and now for the fun part do not turn the power off until initialization is complete this takes about 10 minutes oh that sucks okay okay while that's doing that i'm gonna try a few things okay i have my garber onesie okay we're gonna try this fabric so it's like a rib knit and this is 100% cotton so we're gonna try 100% cotton and then we have one of these stainless steel tumblers. So we're gonna try this. Okay, and this is a poly cotton blend. So it's 60% cotton and 40% polyester. And this is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. Spandex is for the stretch, but this is as close as to 100% polyester that I have. And I'm going to try on all of these and see how each fabric and item will take. I'm going to open my Paint S app and I'm going to click Create New. And my width is going to be 8.5 and height is 11. That's the size of a regular printer paper. The way I measure it, always measure the width. And then the height will follow because if you just measure high, let's say if you want it to be like seven inches tall, but then what if the image is like a square and then you're gonna have the image in the armpits. So always measure the width and I'm gonna go with five inches. Okay, here it is. And so I'm just gonna insert a square. And right here, you could see the width and the height of it. So I'm just gonna do the width five inches. Okay, I'm going to drag my image. Oops, a daisy. It's a little bigger, so I'm going to hold down the shift key and make it a little smaller. I think this is fine. The reason why I hold on shift key, because if you don't and you're going to resize it, it's going to warp the image into something else. But there it is. I'm going to delete the rectangle, and here it is. Okay, I'm just going to open a new one. And this one if you click on image and pick rotate left it will flip this horizontally and so now I'm going to insert my rectangle and I want it to be nine inches long so I actually can fit this on one paper um, so I'm going to go back to my other page I'm just going to copy this and by clicking control C and then paste it control V here it is I can do both um, these have to be um, mirrored images so this little button I'm gonna flip it horizontally this makes it mirrored flip this image horizontally makes it mirror as well that's what you need and here it is and I don't know why it's every time I do 100, it just makes it two pages, so I just do 97. And I'm gonna go ahead and print um, medium quality. I'll pick best. Print. I'm so excited. Okay. Huh? And then for the seamless files like for the cup that I'm gonna do. So here's my daisies. And we'll put all the way on top. And then copy this one and paste it. And then drag this all the way to the bottom and make sure it all matches. So this might be kind of hard because I don't have a heat press. Heat press, things are so much easier. So at first I'm gonna iron the shirt, making it nice and straight. And I want it to be like hot. And then here's this paper. 
And here is my iron. Okay, I'm gonna time it. Where is my? I think I'm gonna hold it down for like a minute and I'm doing hard because again this is cotton so it might not work and I don't have a heat press so again might not work <laughs> okay that's not bad this is not bad at all because it is cotton and I don't have a heat press I think it's actually pretty good and now I'm gonna do this pulley cotton clean it clean it there's papers everywhere all right, I'm gonna iron this. So I'm gonna do half of it first. And this is a good way to start a small a home business. Turn your hobby into business. Crafting as a hobby is way too expensive. Okay, so my overhead thing died and here I'm doing the, the Oopsie Daisy on 96% pulley polyester because it says to subliminate you have to polyester fabric um cotton they're a little bit turn out faded which is really normal because this is cotton i think with heat press the colors will be more vibrant maybe in a little bit i can get one and then i'll post a video and see the difference if it's actually worth getting a heat so i moved it around <laughs> but look how dark this one is it, this is polyester so it does work for polyester I'm really mad that I messed up. Okay, take off this plastic cap. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in the oven and see how it works on the on these tumblers. But um, I did not use the best print setting. I just did regular. So we'll see how it works with the regular. Maybe I should have done best, but oh well, we'll see. So I'm going to turn it off to 450. Let it cool down. Okay, this is freaking awesome. Don't use clear tape. This is going to be annoying to scrub. But, you guys, I did it. Over uh, here, don't overlap. Now I know why. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope it was easy for you guys. But I definitely recommend getting yourself a sublimation ink and printer. And this ink is awesome. It is on Amazon. I have the link in the description below. And it's super budget friendly cost. And I just love it. This is really fun and i think I'm about to make a bunch of things and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and check out my store jaunastar.com or i sell my hands so check it out all right thank you so much for watching bye